time now see, huh? Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. If you don't know who I am, I'm Caroline. I'm currently studying in my last year of undergrad, studying to become an English teacher with the hopes of moving to English literature in masters. Today is Monday, the 5th of October, and it's the first day of online classes for me. We have had two weeks of in-person classes the last two weeks, but because the numbers are rising rapidly in Slovakia and in Bratislava, where I study, we were sent home after two weeks and we're going online. I just had my first online lecture. It was interesting, to say the least. It was very interesting. I am not... What? Okay. You may have heard the okay. Uh, I'm just looking at my materials for my next class. Th th my first seminar was interesting. I like I don't like this class that much. It's my school management class, which I have to take. I don't want to take it per se, but I have to take it. It's Those subjects are not that great, usually. What's wrong with my hair? Um, I'm currently home alone. Of course, everybody is at work. And I am I am home. I'm not, I'm not in my dorm. I'm not in Bratislava. I'm home. I'm in my room. This looks a bit different because I've moved my desk next to the window. So I have good lighting. I have... Possibly a cute background. Uh, it's currently quarter to eleven, and my next class is at quarter to three. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Normally, I would go to my dorm from class. It would take me like thirty minutes to get home. I would go and have lunch, and then I would just be in my room chilling preparing for my next two classes which are back to back so from 245 to 545 um so i my next class is practical language advanced which is also mandatory i have to take it it's but it's not one of those teacher subjects that I have to take. It's an actual English subject that I have to take with a teacher that I really like. He's really great. He's really funny. And this is like practicing for maybe Cambridge advanced exams or something like that. Like it's basically treating us to be C1 level, which is always good. Last week I didn't go to that class because I was feeling sick because period pains are a real pain and we need to talk about it more because it can really take a toll on your life and your normal functioning and last week I just I couldn't even walk the five steps from the toilet to my room and without almost fainting so that was fun so I don't know what we're going to do today and how it's going to work. We will see. Um, I'm excited. And then my next class is like communications and another one that I have to take a teacher's subject, but it's just for my department. It's just for the English department. I already had one communications class in my first year, I believe. And this is with the same teacher and she's cool, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I think I'm going to make another coffee. Uh, because I only had one. I need to go to the toilet because I couldn't leave the whole time I was in that class. Because um, we didn't have our like cameras and mics on, but so the teacher was like, you know, Turn on your camera, you don't have to turn on your mic, but you turn on your camera so that I don't talk to blank uh, squares. So, like, I had my camera on, like, a couple times, and, well, 
the teacher was giving a lecture, she would call on us so that she would be like, Carolina, what do you think about that? And I'm like, what? I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. Uh, you would be just as passive in actual class than I was in here. So as I was in here, so I'm mean, just go and uh, read a bit for my thesis so that I have something to do and work on. I need to, I should, I don't need to, I do need to, but I should uh, email my thesis supervisor. I haven't done that yet. Everybody has, well, not everybody. Well, but I should um, do that. But I don't want to, I'm intimidated by my, by my uh, thesis supervisor. I don't know. I think I'm just going to do a bit more research into criticism and what I want to actually write about. And I will, yeah. Hello. Plan is to watch some YouTube, some study tubers uh, while I drink my coffee, while I watch some videos, I might look into my sources I have for feminist criticism and literary criticism and stuff like that, because I need to get a move on that, really. I do have some assignments to, no, I have one assignment that has deadline on Thursday, but I don't need to do it. I don't need to start it. And I honestly, I don't want to start it because I just submitted my, uh, one of my previous assignment last night, which I didn't have to uh, submit last night. I could have submitted tonight, but <laughs> yeah, I will update you when anything happens. These days will probably be just like, the same. I would also make love to read. Uh, I haven't been reading lately because I've just been stressed. I haven't been watching TV. I just haven't been doing anything. I should do something um, about that. I should start reading for my thesis. I should start just doing more. that it's only 2 p.m. and I already feel so tired and like it should be like six and I should start getting ready for bed really dark outside it started today started beautiful like it was the sun was shining it was quite like chilly but warm and now it's gray okay what have I done uh, I I didn't do much work in relation to my thesis, but I did just write an Instagram post, that a caption for an Instagram post that should be up. It's uh, me gushing about A Room with a View by Ian Forster. You can check it out on my Instagram if you want to add Caroline at Bookland. <laughs> it's a picture with A Room with a View in it. I highly recommend it. It's it's incredibly good. I loved it. I adored it. And it's just it's really great. Um now I'm going to get dressed and go out with my dog. I have a class in about half an hour. So I need to go out with Charlie. I don't know if you know you maybe you may not know but I used to teach. Uh English and I, I I don't teach anymore I wasn't really enjoying it I was enjoying my converse the conversation classes that I had but I don't like teaching grammar and I'm not very good at it I'm going to be honest with you I don't think I'm good at it I like conversation classes and a friend recently messaged me like do you still teach and would you be up for uh, giving me some lessons and like conversations and stuff like that in English. I'm like, yeah, sure. 
because, you know, because I'm home, I can't work the bookstore I work at in Bratislava. So I was looking at I was thinking of different ways that I could make money and support myself a little bit. Opportunity arose, so we are having our first lesson on Wednesday. We are going to be meeting twice a week. Yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. Go out with Charlie now and I will see you when I see you. Online class number two of the day, let's go. So my practical language class is done. I am on another call right now and I hope I'm muted. Can you hear it? Yeah. Can I hear my best friend? I love my practical language class. It's it's really great. I love my professor. I'm just waiting. I'm making some popcorn because that's great. I love popcorn. Okay, um, my class is about to start, so, bye. Okay, it's quarter to six, and I'm done with classes. Um, <laughs> my second class was, uh, I was very... I'm not a good student. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't really have the motivation, mental capacity to listen and just I listened but I didn't like make any notes and stuff. I was on my phone a lot. Um so yeah, so now I'm done with school for the day. I think what I'm going to do is try and search for some things for my thesis, what I was <laughs> planning to do. Um, Good morning everyone, um, it's Tuesday, I know I already talked to you, but it was, I had an 8am online lecture that lasted 30 minutes. Yeah, let's move on from that, it was horrible. I'm up, I'm just going to get dressed. And I'm going to go out with Charlie. We haven't gone on our walk yet. Uh, so we need to do that because I woke up late. And I was glad that I made it in time to the lecture, but we still were waiting for our professor. So I need to hunt for breakfast and I want coffee. So that's the plan. So I'm just gonna get dressed and go out and listen to a podcast. I'm just having my coffee, had my breakfast, and now I'm watching Gilmore Girls because I was craving Gilmore Girls yesterday on the 5th of October was the 20 year anniversary from uh, Gilmore Girls starting. And I've, everyone's been sharing Gilmore Girls stuff, so I decided, yeah, why not? I'm on season 5, episode 11? I still haven't finished it. Yeah, I'm just watching Gilmore Girls and I will go and study then. Okay, so I'm just being chaotic and I don't know.
what to do. Um, what's the time? I have 20... What? I have 25 minutes until my next class. My lecture. So... I'm gonna make coffee, that's an, I yeah, that's that's what I want. I need to make my bed, like, it's, it's halfway there. I'm gonna have lunch. And I'm going to make coffee for my lecture. That's a good plan, if I'm being honest. I think that's a good plan. Time lapse time, because... I can't keep this rolling because my phone will run out of everything that it ha it can run out of. I need a new phone. I really want a new phone. Pray for me. I'm in the meeting now, but I have to take him to the kitchen because I need to eat. And I haven't prepared my lunch yet so I'm going to eat while in lecture because that's what I did yesterday twice and I'm going to do it today as well realized a very unfortunate thing. I work and am productive much better at night. And that's not good. I don't know why I work a lot better when it's dark outside. I saw this Tumblr post or whatever post somewhere that is just like, why do we feel and why are we usually more productive at night? And it's because of this strange weight and expectation of the day being lifted from us. And I don't know how actual, like, how legit that is, but to me, it makes so much more sense. Like, I, I honestly don't know how that is and why that is, but it's, very true and actually is true for me not that i feel any sort of pressure hello not that i feel any sort of pressure uh on me when during the, like during the day like yes there is this sort of pressure but at the same time i kind of put things off and i look better under pressure of time and at night, like bef right before a deadline, I work the best and I'm the most productive. So I'm going to try uh, not doing what I have to do right now, the, like in the hour and a half, two hours before my lecture, w before my seminar. I'm going to just chill. I, oh my God, I can't even talk about my reading. I was meant to be a part of this read-along for Dracula. I started Dracula, I guess, 50 pages in, and then I fell into a slump because of school. And I was really stressed, and my mental head, mental health, my mental health was awful, and I just did, couldn't do anything, and I couldn't read, and I tried picking, picking it back up uh, a couple days ago, and I just couldn't, I just couldn't. So I've uh, got back to a Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett, which is great. I love it, but I kind of want something new. 
So yesterday I uh, reread Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks. It's a graphic novel. It's a perfect fall graphic novel. Even though it does, it's not relatable to me because I live in Slovakia. We don't have Halloween. We don't have pumpkin patches. Well, we do have pumpkin patches, but pumpkins are not that big in Slovakia because we don't celebrate Halloween. But I love this. Uh, there's so many things I have absolutely no idea what they are talking about. Like the sakotash. What's a sakotash? I have no... Sorry. I have no clue what sakotash is. I've never had uh, pumpkin pie. Okay, I know what kettle corn is. Uh, it's popcorn, isn't it? But I just really loved it and I really recommend it. It's very fun, very quick. I read it in like an hour. The art is gorgeous and I absolutely love it. Like, look at that. That's so pretty. Like the color scheme, it's all it's all oranges and reds and it's just so cute so good and I'm really glad I reread it as it's October and October means Victober I wanted to take part in I made a whole TBR but I had to scrap scrap it because life but I've been really craving more Bronte sisters and I only have one more um, Bronte novel on my shelf that I haven't read because I have finally, finally, I finally read Wuthering Heights and if you want to know my thoughts on go check out my Instagram because I talked excessively about Wuthering Heights. If you maybe want a video about me discussing Bronte sister novels and let me know because I'm currently very obsessed with the Brontes. I watched the biopic about them to walk invisible and it was Incredible. I really recommend it. It's Beautiful as a film like the way it looks, but it's also very uh, good At least that's what I read and it's very good in terms of how accurate it is so and the last book that I have on my shelf that I haven't read, and I don't know why I decided to pick up this, but I'm going to start it uh, now. Now, yeah, why not? It's Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. This is Lucy Powery's, aka Lucy the Reader's favorite uh, book. It's a historical fiction, and it follows, I believe, two friends, Shirley and Caroline. Caroline. You had me at Caroline. <laughs> you expected bread and you have got a stone. Break your teeth on it and don't shriek. You will have learned the great lesson how to injure without a sob. Is this what girls are, thought, are, are taught from a very young age? Like, conceal, don't feel. Don't let them know. Yeah, so... I'm going to start this today. I'm very much excited. I've been meaning to read this for a long time. I know it may seem like the only thing that I do is drink warm beverages and that might be true. I'm going to make tea. I already had two, two coffees and I think that's, that's enough. It's for, I need to uh, go out with Charlie because I have a seminar in 30 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. There might be another uh, time lapse and you will see me in despair because I have cried at those seminars. <laughs> the first seminar, I cried at least three times because I was just so lost last week. It was, last week was a good seminar because I finally started to understand things. Okay, I'm going. Bye! <laughs> Je to plus.
slzy vyzerajú trochu inak než slzy z Infinity, z nich, ktoré sú non-finite, Dobre, kvôli len. tomu, že tieto vyzerajú Just... podobnejšie a trochu čierne. I'm so dumb. I need to pee. Like, I really need to pee. And he's still talking. We were supposed to end 11 minutes ago. And he's still talking. Like, I get it. A, yeah, a bit. Like, it's very hard. I'm so tired. Yay, I won't do anything today. Again. Oh, hello, hello, friends. Um, welcome. I don't think I've talked to you today, although I've showed you I had a lecture this morning from my psychological aspects of development of child in the family or something like that. <laughs> it's a great class. I really like this class. We have a lot of discussions in, in that class and it's very intimate they're just me and my classmates like from my department and my year so there's like seven of us and it's really great seven plus the teacher but I had an, a delivery of books so i'm going to open it my mom got a vow got a voucher for like five years oh that's cute Wow. Okay, so we got two books. My mom got one and I asked her if I could get one and I did. Oh, look! It's... Okay, I get a chapter sampler of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes in, in Slovak. That's cool. I haven't read the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. In Slovak they translated it to uh, a Ballad of Snakes and Songbirds, which I don't understand. And I do know the translator so I should ask I will ask when my friends do the live stream about the book I, I have no idea what this is so I'm not even going to mention it but I got a book that I've been meaning to get for a long time I get A Little History of Literature by John Sutherland it's published by Yale University Press I already have one book by Yale University Press I have uh, How to Read Literature by Terry Eagleton. I haven't read this yet. I started it. I haven't finished it because I want to get better at reading and reading critically and more deeply. So if you have any recommendations for books and ways to get... Oh, that's cute. For books and ways to get more critical about books, then let me know. Definitely share your ideas and your knowledge with me, please, because I really want to become a better critical reader. So look at those end papers. Oh, that's beautiful. It's got a French flap, which I really like. I'm really interested. Oh, there's Wild. 134. In end of century Britain, the cult of literary dandyism was epitomized by one writer above all others, Oscar Fingal O'Flaherty Wills Wilde. I love the guy. Oh. That's in this is interesting. Okay, I'm going to read this part. Uh, he published a gothic novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, in 1891. Sensational in its own time, interesting today, a larger largely because of its floridly gay subtext. It chronicles a Faustian pact with the devil by which the hero Dorian uh, Dor, French for made of gold, I can't speak French, 
uh, remains for eternity a golden youth, while a portrait of him in the attic, his grey, grey cell, withers and degenerates. Other writers have handled the theme better, but none more provocatively than Wilde. Okay, I'm excited to read this. Oh, there's a lot more about Wilde. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this book. If you have read it, uh, let me know what you thought, because I am intrigued. I've read many good things about this, and I kind of wanted a all-in-one guide to, like, literature, and this seemed like a good way. I will let you know what I think of this. I'm done for today with classes. I don't have any classes. I don't know what, I, what to do. I think I'm going to read for a bit. I started Shirley last night and I also listened to it on audiobook. Like I listened to it now when I went out with Charlie. I'm on page 32. Well, we still haven't met Shirley and Caroline, like the main, supposed main characters of this. At least we haven't met Shirley. We haven't even mentioned uh, Shirley, but I know that she's coming. Like, I don't know when, but I think I'm going to read a bit before I get to work. I need to text. Um, my student I need to text my student as to where we are meeting and what we're gonna do I need to figure that out I'm very sleepy and I should do my work okay I will talk to you when I talk to you mm -hmm.